Welcome to Chiera Voice. Um, um, I'm very sorry to all my fans. Um, I've been quiet. I've been busy with a lot of things, you know, and but I'm back. Uh, so I just want to say uh, 2018, I will never forget it. Um, I just thought I ain't got paid in this now. We are not to our nation, but she just got into it. Got 2018. Anyway, um, Kuneva Mwevari Chirim Dinao Nezagaitika a Pama elections. So I just thought, uh, before we get into 2019, we have a close chapter. Um, I want to say why Chamisa lost elections in 2018. I think there are 10 reasons why he lost elections. Reason number one, papas. Chamisa and papas. Reason number two, too much sass. Ah, uh, but if I know Tower Abaya, I'm not gonna go Tower. And if I know gonna go Tower, I'm not taking it. Zawan. Point number three. Mm, take over. I show my trouble. I can't eat so. Mm, I combined. It wasn't very professional. Mm. Eh, I know I'm very tense. So, if I come soldier. Come by if I but that's not the way to do it. Uh, point number three. When Chamisa turned on the scene, wano ese wakatanga kuvenga kupi. For no reason. Kunguvenga kupi from nowhere. And they say what goes around comes around. I think this is what happened. Then point number five. The bullet train talk. That one was a big lie. It was a big lie that a train would go from Harare to Blawai in 45 minutes. That was one of the biggest lie in the history of elections. Point number six, Stephen Saka. <laughs> I will never forget that interview. I will never forget that interview. Chamisa was caught on camera lying. You know, Mataura Kaitanya Trump Soka. I taura kungar kutaura nesha mu DBC re kanabute arbutaura nesha vidikwere. Kuti pataka taura na Trump akat naeva komana. Maria Mgada Kutinika Inaken Imari. He was talking about the President of the United States lying about him. That was bad. Daganza Omnyarira, by interview, he had to talk. Interview, yeah, some people thought, I shine, but Yagadon is a Jamisa. That interview was dangerous. For someone, I know reason that interview was dangerous. Then number seven, hmm. Chamisa didn't show some kind of professionalism. He continued to attack the president. Oh, Oliver, kupese ba itaura engo taura neju kushoropo za president, which wasn't nice anyway. Then okay. Just before elections, Chamisa became a crybaby. Things were in order. There were 10,000 polling stations. But Chamisa, it was either this or that, this or that. He was just a crybaby. He was just a crybaby. You know, to me, he didn't show that he was ready to re lead the country. Then point number um, nine, 
Chamisa was not in touch with Vanuegumusha. Ah, not an idea with Vanuegumusha. How do they live? You know? You would go kwanamre wa kuya chiti. Yende ke zichata kura matomatisi. Zichienda na woku harare. Ah, hehe. Tese tino zaoti excess luggage ino dura se. 23 US dollars per kg. Saka matomatisi kana enda nende ge. Ano neta marigo marare mamu. Vanu wengo shetuka. They didn't care. Kutata ura ududi. You know? Then he... Point number 10. It turned out that Chamisa Munanenge generally anongo nyipa ozake. And uh, the other thing, people never wanted to hear that he was wrong on one or two things. They would still support him. And this is why Chamisa recently called his supporters stupid. And nobody complained about it. And nobody even... He did a video, Ajiti, how can you say that to us? Hapana gamba mshuruputa. Anyway, this is the last day in 2018. We all know why Chamisa lost elections. 2019, it's time to move on. Let's show unity. As Zimbabwean, it's time to move on. Wake up and smell the coffee. The country is moving forward. Those people who love to be crybabies, uh, sending videos, manipulating stories, doing this and that, you're wasting your time. It's time to do something for yourself. It's time to do, have your own legacy. Leave a legacy for your family. You can be buying properties. You can do businesses. I know some people say, uh, you know, you don't know what's going on in Zimbabwe, this and that. But I have a feeling by the, the end of 2019, because there will be so much development. I just want to quote something which I've observed. My India, chayo, chayo. You never hear them talking too much. They just do action. Mwanawem India, ari mudiki diki, anu isi wapatiu, kuta achiti ratu za utimari, no famba se. This is what we should think about. It's time to move on. I think it's a shame some people are still bearing grudges, trying to destroy, you know, whatever is being done by the government. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It's time to build our country. Our country can only be su successful if we want it to be successful. So, Happy New Year! May all your dreams come true. If you like this video, please press the like button or subscribe. Thank you.